elves are perhaps one of the most well-known tribes among creatures in the multiverse. So today we're going to be talking about elves, which is perhaps my favorite tribe as well in all of magic. These creatures look similar to humans, only with pointed ears, and on certain planes they feature green or blue skin, and could have elongated limbs or certain tree folk-ish body parts. Elves are most commonly associated with green mana, being the characteristic race for the color. That being said, it is not unheard of to find elves within other colors. On the plane of Lorwyn, for example, elves have been found in colors such as black as well, such as Nath of the Guiltleaf. Elves are usually found in forests of the plains where they reside and are very in tune with nature. Some famous elves include Riss from Lorwyn, an elf who was sent into exile following his tapping into Colfiner's magic to kill a swarm of Boggarts, which unintentionally killed everything except him and a few others. Because of this, he was branded as an Eye Blight. Eye Blights refer to beings deemed hideous by elven society. As a quick footnote, elves on Lorwyn are very elitist and proud of their beauty, and they seek to eliminate Eye Blights. On a different plane, Mirrodin, Izuri is an elven legend. A former elf bandit during the Phyrexian completion, he was made into a hero when he helped organize a defense and a refugee escape of his fellow Viridian elves. He unfortunately was later captured and became an agent of the Phyrexians when they uh, made him into a little bit of an artificial elf. Elves are not without their planeswalkers. A Zendikari planeswalker you may have heard of by the name of Nisa Rivain began her life as an elf, and upon becoming a planeswalker she became a powerful one for elves. Her original printing was a very powerful elf support planeswalker, although in recent incarnations she has become less focused on elves and more of a general green planeswalker. In addition, we also have Freilis, another planeswalker who has elven heritage who's actually a very big part of the older magic story. Freilis was originally a fire mage, but due to some circumstances surrounding her planeswalker spark igniting, she chose to become a green planeswalker upon her rebirth. She remained on her home plane of Dominaria until the end of the Ice Age, and returned later during the Phyrexian invasion to fight as one of Urza's nine titans. It's a lot of history lesson to her story, so open up your books, kids. In her last act, however, she had fought to save Sky Shroud from the Phyrexians. She had a moment of enlightenment, and in the end, she sacrificed herself and Sky Shroud to seal the time rifts on her plane to save them from the Phyrexians. Now, how do elves work in game? In the context of gameplay, elves are a very powerful source of mana. They, whether it's the ability to produce a singular mana, such as Elvish Mystic, or a lot of mana, such as Priest of Titania, elves are generally the go-to for mana production among creatures. They're usually smaller creatures, but not without the boosting abilities of some lord creatures and anthem effects. Creatures such as Imperious Perfect and Elvish Archdruid both exemplify the power boosts that many elves can have. And because of this, elf decks are very quick to flood the field and power themselves to be able to win. In fact, elves are such a powerful tribe that they have a powerful presence in many formats. Every now and then, an elf deck has popped up in standard, although it's very heavily dependent on the plane and what elves are available for that current standard. Legacy Elves are also a powerful contender in the top tiers of the format due to the sheer amount of powerhouse elves and powerhouse cards that are available. Modern Elves have recently become a pretty good contender once more with the printing of Collected Company. Now a deck called Modern Coco Elves is a very consistent and a very powerful deck, being able to quickly flood the field with elves and boost them using Azuri for a quick win. In Commander, of course, we have some legendary elves. Some popular elven commanders that I like are Riss the Redeemed, Izuri Renegade Leader, and Freya Lee's Lanoir's Fury. There are, of course, others, but these three are my usual picks whenever I'm building an elf deck. Even the Pauper format has an elf deck. In fact, the Pauper elf deck is perhaps one of the best decks in that format as well, focusing on swamping the field with elves to outnumber the opponent. Elves are perhaps one of the more popular of the iconic classic tribes, along with such tribes as Slivers, Merfolk, and Goblins. But what do you think of Elves? Is there a tribe that is your favorite? 
Let me know what your favorite tribe is in the comments down below and maybe I'll feature them in the next tribal video. Remember to share this video with your magic playgroup, whether it be literally sharing the video or just leaving a like. Your support will help open this channel up to new audiences and it will help grow our community. If you are new to the channel, I welcome you and hope you consider becoming a subscriber today. And with that, I will see you in the next video when hopefully my Phyrexian overlord will let me out of my cage.